All right, you guys, so we are about to get into the install on this ceiling fan. The first thing it says is put on the mounting brackets. Now, if you have concrete ceilings, they have these type right here. That one right there is for the concrete ceiling. And then this one here, it says for wooden ceilings, but we install in the and it was open so we installed in our junction box up there let's go ahead and put on this mounting bracket now when i put on this mounting bracket i might skip step two when it says fan blade installation i will go in order on all the steps i'm not going to do what i usually do so i'm gonna break my rule and actually follow the rules <laughs> step one we'll need my drill gun and i'm gonna show y'all the fun and hopefully y'all can see everything got all the wires right there i'm just going to present the screw all right that one's tricky because of that white electrical stuff that's in the way it's hard to like screw it all the way in so i may have to all right all right you guys so i think i screwed into the box so it is definitely on there very strong so we just completed uh step one now we're about to go to step two we are ready to install the fan so we're going to grab the fan blade so in this bag right here we have some screws so to install the blade you need to have your motor right here and then you have your blade like this and then you go in just like that you don't install it like this because that's not the right way to install it. You install it like this, going in. All right, so you put that in, put your screw in, and I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, right? All right, so just like I just did, you push it in, and then you can line yourself up with the hole in the motor, just like that. And then you can use your drill gun. Just make sure you're on a low setting because you don't want to damage your new fan. So put it on a low setting and screw it in. Just like that. All right. And that's how you put them in. You can just put the screws right through the wood and line it up with the motor. I'm going to put this one in. All right, looks good, looks good. All right, you guys, I'm gonna install this last blade. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we will make it through. I'm gonna hold it in, put the screws right on through. Then I'll line it up, pre-tighten a little bit. I don't usually put the blades on now. I usually put this on last, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the flow. Step three is the down rod. You will have to take this off to put it on here if you want to use this as your extension. All right, you guys, so we have the 15 inch extension right here and we are going to use that one. Now, since I can't slide it in, I will have to take this piece off and put it on this side. So you see the little screw hole right there. And that's basically what you have to do for this, where you got those screws right there. This side doesn't have it. So it's this side that has the screw hole right there so let's go ahead take this out real quick all right that's coming out of the hole slide down all right you guys so i'm going to put this in right here that's supposed to go in it lands right on there all right then you got the screw hole right here screw this one through the hole and it's definitely not coming down y'all know y'all have to screw one here and then you have to screw one here to secure this thing. All right, so now we on number four on this assembly, which is hooking a lot of stuff up. First thing I have to do, put this cone like this. Cause that covers basically the fan motor, right? Then I gotta put this one 
on upside down just like that and this is like a rubber right here it's not plastic it's just like a cover and you put this on like that and then this one goes down like that and this has a little rubber piece on it right there it's like a washer and yeah i got that right so far so good number four is done now number five we have to install the wires through here move this pin out the way feed the wire through there simple and easy <laughs> all right so we're gonna put our shaft back on here all right now we are going to put our screw back on all right tight tight all righty now we got to see what we need to do on this part and which is two screws here one goes on one side one goes on the other side all right you guys so you want to grab your pin the pin that we took off earlier from the shaft all right and you want to grab your key and on here for this screw okay on here you want to match up your holes with this shaft Get this out the way. Took the screws out right now. Okay, there we go. All right, so stick your pin through. And there you go. Secure it with the screws, but remember not too tight. Snug, that's all you need. Secure the other side. That's all you need. All right, you guys, the fan is basically done. Okay, it says shut off the power of the fuse box or circuit breaker before wiring. Well, thank you for telling us that on step five. <laughs> you should have told us that on step one. Some people, fans are brand new. It's not pre-installed lighting there already. I'm just kidding. We have all our wiring right here and we have our new clips that we're going to use they didn't give us no uh twist nuts so we do have our quick connect clips i'll try to remember to post some links to this in the description as well this will make your life easier all right you guys so we have the receiver right here have our ground wire neutral line wire um it looked like it just has a thing that you just hold it all we gotta do is slide it in and that's it installing the ceiling fan is easy very easy now this one is a little bit higher up than it was before but it'll be okay all righty so we got that situated now we need our receiver and then we can get all of our wires off the way hook the fan up turn the power on all that stuff and have fun and I knew you was going to try to act funny, trying to fit in, but we are going to shove it. Going to shove it in. All right. And we sure did. We shoved it in. I don't know why all of these things are on the side right there, but I will figure that out later. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's four screws here, right? So we have two of them that's loose already. And you have two slots on here. So put all your wires inside of this dome. 
and we need to loosen it up a little bit more no all right so it fit on that one nice and easy I will have to loosen this one up some more now with this I would need a regular screwdriver unless I get a smaller bit for my drill gun cover all these wires and all right so I'm gonna leave it like that for uh got a wire hanging out all right so that's it Woo, my arms hurt <laughs> screws now you have this little rubber part right here this is your cover now you could cover your screws I was supposed to install this when I installed the blades, but I did not see that in the instructions. All right, you guys, so the iron ring. Um, I'll take it back down, but you need to install the iron ring while you install the fan. But on here, on the instructions, I don't see nothing where it says install the iron ring while you're installing your fa fan blades. So. Uh, that might be an error in the instructions. It don't bother me. I actually like it like this. I like seeing more of the wood grain. All right, you guys. So there goes the fan. Everything is up and it looks good. Like I said, I don't need to install the black ring. Me, I actually like the fan the way it looks like this. Um, yeah. Even if you have the black ring on there, you will still see the screws right there. Like those screws. So you will still see it with the black ring on there. So I actually like the fan how it is. Now, let me go ahead, turn the power on, check out the remote and yeah, and finalize the review. Um, I didn't look at nothing about this remote. So we are just gonna just turn it on and have fun with it. Let's see, it says fan off. We're gonna put it on one. I think that sound I think that sound was just the wires getting uh adjusted. It is quiet. It's quiet, you guys. You can't hear this fan at all. Put it on 2 3 Okay, it didn't click. Ooh, it's going pretty fast. Y'all, this thing got six settings on it. Ooh, this thing, my wife will love this thing. She don't know I put it up yet. Wow, this is three, you guys, and it is blowing pretty hard. Four, five. Six. All right, now y'all know it's winter time, so <laughs> I'm not gonna have this fan on already. So on the remote, I'm just gonna go over real quick. You have F and R, so I'm, I just hit F. So let's see what happens. It did it by itself, I'm not touching nothing. All right, so forward is aiming down because it's blowing more down than it looks like. All right, so here you have light on and off on this side, and then you have all off on this side. Um, you have fan on. By, well, it says fan off right here if you want to turn the fan off. So you have all off, fan off. So, okay. And you also have a timer on here. You got one hour, four hours, eight hour timer. And then you have these three lines in the middle. Fan positive and negative rotation control. Okay. So I will probably never use that. It's the one in the middle. Okay. So boom, right here. I will never use that. I'm going back on forward. So forward, I believe is coming down. And reverse is winter time where you trying to bring the air up. So, yeah, as y'all know, I will post this for y'all so y'all can see for yourselves. Makes me kind of nervous, but that thing blowing air. I mean, that thing is blowing like crazy. Well, y'all can't 
Y'all can't see it, but all the leaves are moving like crazy in the little shop of horror. All right, you guys. Anyways, that will be it. If y'all have any other questions, comments, and concerns about this ceiling fan right here, hit me up in the comment section. I will put the link in the description box in the bottom right there down at the bottom. The link will be there. If you have any questions, comment down in the bottom and that will be it.